Good morning. Whoa. Good morning. Good morning. It's really great to see a great um, this attendance today, this very special day, as Dabney Lancaster Community College became Mountain Gateway Community College at midnight tonight. Um, it it has been a long two years. <laughs> uh, we began this process in July of 2020. And, and it's been exactly two years. Um, and really, we would not have gotten to this point without the, the number of people involved in this process. So before we um, have a couple of speakers, I just want to recognize a few people in the audience. First of all, the members of our uh, Mountain Gateway Community College Board of Directors, Rusty Ford, who is our chair, Marilyn Alexander, who's a member of the board and vice mayor of the city of Lexington, Reverend Stephanie Clark, a member of the board, Steve Vaughn, a member of the board and past chair, and I believe Ingrid Barber is here, is. and a member of the board. Look at that, just in time. Uh, thank you all. All of you, all of you have been crucial in this process and we're really excited to have you here with us today. I'd like to recognize uh, members of our Mountain Gateway Community College Educational Foundation, Donna Vaughn, Nicole Grossclose, Nick Mulger, who is the president of the board, Lois Switzer, Teeny Kegley, and Becky Johnson. Those were the only ones I saw. If I missed anybody, and Kathy Bryant, who just walked in. Uh, thank you all for being here. I'd like to recognize also Josh Hess, who is the regional director for Congressman Morgan Griffith. Thank you so much for being here today. Also like to recognize a few other community individuals, uh, Mr. Alan Tucker, who's a member of the City Council of City of Covington, Tom Seibold, who's the mayor of the City of Covington, and Chuck Unroe, who is town manager of Clifton Forge and the mayor of Iron Gate. Thank you all for being here. And finally, I'd like to recognize Dr. Rebecca Corbin, who drove up from North Carolina last night to be with us today and she'll say a couple of words. She is the president and CEO of the National Association for Community College Entrepreneurship. Let's give them all a hand for. So I think I think many of you have have seen and have heard unless unless you haven't lived here for two years on how we have gotten to this point. This is really. Um, this has really been a very long process, but I think we have come to a very exciting end um, and really a new beginning. The college's name today changes, but our mission does not. We still focus on primarily three areas of student access, student success, and community and workforce success. Obviously, everything today is about workforce. Uh, the employers, all the employers are desperate for uh, for employees and applicants. So are we. We have plenty of openings where our pool of applicants is smaller and smaller than it ever has been. Um, but our job is to try to um, fill that gap with individuals who we will train to the 21st century skills and then be able to be able to keep them in this community and be able to go to work. So um, our mission does not change today. Our mission um, continues and will continue for the next 60 years as we have just completed our first 60 years. If a little history lesson, uh, the college as 60 years old was, was established in March of 1962. Uh, the first five years of our existence, we were the Clifton Forge Covington branch of Virginia Tech. 
and in 1967 we became Dabney Lancaster Community College with the establishment of the Virginia Community College system. And today, on 2022, we will become Mountain Gateway Community College. So if the name changes 60 years from now, that'll be somebody else's responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> um, so a number of people have asked, so why Mountain Gateway? Uh, a number of you played a role in the renaming task force. And we, uh, we had 25 individuals that represented our entire service area of 1,800 square miles. Every community was involved. And we had only 437 names to look at. And we narrowed it down to Mountain Gateway Community College. So why Mountain Gateway? Mountain Gateway, the word mountain symbolizes the beauty of our region. In any part of our service area, you can look up and see a mountain. It pays tribute to all the mountains that surround our entire service area. The mountains serve as a connecting point between the wide range communities in our service area. All the localities we feel, uh, all, the, all the localities that we serve feel a connection to the mountains. Mountain can also be served as a metaphor for a level of success and range of opportunities offered by the college. And then why Gateway? Gateway represents an opportunity for our students toward a future, whether it's their academic journey or a broadened horizon that they wish to explore. The term Gateway opens doors to the middle class, and that's what community colleges do. And by supplying local industry with trained workers and residents with opportunities to gain solid uh, paying careers. And that was the rationale that the committee came up with as their number one choice um, as we look to the many of the 437 options that we started with. Um, really, just a little point about the, about the task force. Uh, the task force, again, we, uh, there was 25 members. We had over 70 people volunteer on a survey. And we had to, the goal was to really represent the entire service community. And those 25, I can tell you, did not agree. Every two weeks, we met every two weeks for, uh, I think it was um, three months. And the amount of work that they all did and the homework that they all did to really look at the definitions and the meanings of that. Um, but I feel like the group really worked together and this was all, mind you, by Zoom. This was not in person at that time. So uh, we really appreciate all of the work of the renaming committee. So at this point, I would like to introduce, reintroduce Rusty Ford who is the chair of, Mount, of Mountain Gateway's uh, board, uh, local board, uh, to say a few words. Thank you, John. And I, I think we all owe a huge round of applause to John Renoni for the very careful and thoughtful way in which he has guided this school, and in particular, in the way he has guided the process that has brought us to this point today. So, John, thank you. <laughs> Greetings and welcome this morning uh, to, the, to the new beginning of Mountain Gateway Community College. Uh, if you want to uh, think about some continuity to what the school has always been, uh, I, I can think of no better uh, symbol than the Roadrunner. Uh, back in 67, when uh, my high school friends from Lexington first started uh, coming over here, they all loved the image of the Roadrunner, and it was, the Roadrunner was a very popular song back then by Junior Walker, uh, so uh, we all enjoyed having our Roadrunner uh, decals, and, and I hope that uh, very soon that decal, or maybe even a magnetic uh, uh, plate to put on the car will be available for all of us to display, and uh, and, and to me, as a former county supervisor, one of the most important things we have done, again, during John's tenure, was to set up the Dabney Promise, uh, whereby our, our county 
guaranteed to young people that if they wanted to come here and, and do the work that we would support them financially. And, uh, and that promise is now, has now become the roadrunner promise. So uh, that continuity will continue as well. Uh, and I think we all know the challenges that face us uh, uh, as community college members uh, have dwindled nationwide, but not here. And again, I think that's in large part due to, the, to those of us who are here and, and, the, uh, and the way we portray ourselves and the way our community uh, sees us and, uh, and our school. And again, uh, John has a lot to do with that. So uh, as we face the challenges of keeping people coming here and educating themselves for a better future, uh, we can all be happy and proud that, that we're here now as members of the Mountain Gateway community uh, and supporters of the Roadrunners uh, as our athletic teams grow as well. Uh, there's a lot to look forward to here and a lot to celebrate. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Rusty. Um, I, I now would like to reintroduce uh, Dr. Rebecca Corbin, who is president and CEO of the National Association of Community College Entrepreneurship. She was kind enough to uh, come up from North Carolina yesterday. She's a colleague and a friend. We've been involved with, uh, the college has been involved with NACI um, as long as I've been here. And I've been involved with, with the organization for at least 12, 13 years myself. And um, she's gonna bring sort of a national perspective of, of community colleges. So, Becky, thank you. Well, congratulations, everyone. It is a just beautiful day and a lot to celebrate. And on behalf of the National Association for Community College Entrepreneurship, it's my pleasure uh, to be here with you today. The, the network includes over 330 colleges around the country that has about 3,000 engaged uh, faculty members, uh, leaders, presidents like Dr. Rainoni serving close to 4 million students. And intentionally, I wanted to be here today um, in celebration certainly of great leadership um, with your president, with your board, with your community members, but also to tell the national story of what can be done in rural communities and how beautiful they are. So. We have a very long name, and you, you might see that entrepreneurship, which many people misspell, <laughs> myself included, because it's such a long word. But just to think about entrepreneurship and not only business creation, which is a lot of um, what rural communities are very good at, but really thinking about it as a success mindset. And um, being in the community college space, working as a vice president for community college for many years, and now in my role at NACI, I just think there's so much hope and possibility in the world. Um, a lot of it, as you, the prior speakers have mentioned, focuses on the mission of community colleges. And um, you, you know that there's over a thousand of them doing work in very similar and somewhat different ways than what you're doing. But I think um, sometimes when you're immersed in work, you don't realize how special it is and how valuable it is and how states like the entire state of California, which is very big, um, looks to rural America, um, both inside and outside its states, to come up with really innovative solutions. So I'll lastly say I love the Roadrunner uh, idea. And um, one of the things that we uh, preach in entrepreneurship is your bird in hand asset. So when I was thinking on your name, um, you know, certainly your bird in hand asset is your road runner, but it's also your rich history and it's every single person who came out today. So I just thank you so much for letting me be a part of it and thank you for the people who've been so uh, warm and welcoming when I, while I've been here. So I will drive back to Raleigh uh, later today, which is where our corporate headquarters are, and I'm going to tell everybody what a magnificent place this is. So once again, congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Becky. So we now want to get you out of the sun, but we do have one thing. So I'm going to ask all our local board members to come forward and get by the sign. I didn't tell them this, but. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unveil this sign and then we will all unveil the large sign. Um, 
I'm sure you ha you know the story about this sign, right? <laughs> the accident that occurred. Normally, we would have been doing the unveiling on that. It's a long story. See me over uh, a cup of coffee, okay? Um, and you can find out the story there. So this this will be our temporary permanent sign for a short period of time. <laughs> Thank you very much. Again, thank you so much for coming. The formal part of the uh, uh, um, of this event is is over.